everybody. It's Lori Zachary with LA Thrift Junkie and I'm here with you today with a haul from many different places. So I'm going to show you what I've got. I'll tell you what I uh, spent on it if I know for sure and then I'll tell you where I got it from. And I'm even going to tell you where it's going to go. So I have a few different platforms. Some of them I sell on all platforms. So if I tell you all platforms, that means everything is going to go on. And if I tell you that's going to go on Whatnot, then that means it's just an auction piece. Okay, so Whatnot is an auction app I just started on. And I'm LA Thrift Junkie on all these sites. And as you can kind of tell, I love Bohemian. You guys are sitting in my mess with me right now. So these are, everything over here needs to be photographed. There's boxes down here. I have tubs full of stuff. And then right here beside me is my pile of stuff that I want to show you guys. So let's get started. The very first thing I found at the Goodwill Bins. I'm sorry, not at the Goodwill Bins. At my local Goodwill here near my house, actually. And it is... Psycho Bunny, you guys, that's good. So this is a, I believe a skateboarding brand. I'm not positive of that actually, but this is by Roberto Codley, probably saying that wrong. And it is a size medium. So the size medium shirt, I do believe this is women's and I do need to do a little bit more research about this brand because I think there might be two Psycho Bunnies, one that's skateboarding and one that's not, that's kind of funny, but this logo is what the skateboarding brand looks like. So you guys are going to learn with me, did I get something good or did I just get something cute that's still going to sell regardless of how much it's going to sell for? The next item I actually got at the bins at my last bins trip. I'm beginning to pick up fall, you guys. I begin to pick up fall, actually pick up fall all year because sweaters is one of my very best sellers. While well, I'm all things bohemian, when it comes to winter, my favorite ones are these Aztec, bohemian, right? Kind of, sweaters and like a cream and black. They're timeless. So we have this sweater kind of has like a waterfall hem. So you see how that's like longer on one side. It's a tight knit. You can feel that it has like some sort of like, oh, you know, just value to it. it. It feels nice regardless of what the resale is. And it is something sisters, medium large. And look, it had come from the store and not sold. And I picked it up at the bins. It probably does weigh a couple pounds. So I probably paid a couple dollars for that. Our bins is $1.29 per pound. Okay, and this is actually something that was in one of my thread up boxes that I just come across when I opened it up. I've never put it in a haul before. I thought it was super cute. So it's this bohemian ruffle, big ruffle sleeve, right? Cardigan, lightweight, probably cotton, made to look like linen, as I always say. Most, a lot of things are very nautical, bohemian, coastal grandma feels. Okay, and I got some so I'm just going to kind of show these briefly. I'm going to do a show on whatnot. So these will go on whatnot, you guys. If, I'll tell you what, if it's going on whatnot, I'll let you know. If not, it's going on one of my platforms. So this is just, it's twice as big as this. So it opens up and I'm doing like a Stevie Nicks show. So I'm picking up some scarves that just kind of remind me of that type of thing and or just really pretty prints. So here's another one and it's just cinched together there from how they had the price tag on it. We have this one, very fancy, and again, just cinched together there. It's really actually like a rectangular scarf, okay? So it kind of give you the vibes, the, the colors going on in there, really bright, happy dopamine colors, another thing that's trending. And this totally was the Stevie Nicks vibe. So look at this scarf, you guys. Beautiful colors, bohemian feathers, and it is infinity. However, I'm seeing some seamstresses that know what they're doing take the seam out where it's um, like where it's like put together, sewn together, and fraying the edges to make it like a real scarf. I don't have that much energy, so I don't think that's going to be me, you guys, but it's a super cute idea. Okay, and I got a couple of hats at the bins because hats sell for me, especially in the winter. This is just a really cute little hat. I'll sell this on all platforms as well as this one here. So it's just a little bucket hat. It's a cute little bucket hat, right? Great for like the winter time, really. This one's lightweight enough. You could probably wear it year round, honestly. Okay, and this is just a little prize I'm going to give away. 
um, for the uh, whatnot shows. So on one of my shows, whichever ones it matches, I'll actually give that away on that. Okay, you guys have something exciting. So I've been getting on and um, actually bidding on whatnot and getting some things to resell. I kind of got on there as a seller to learn better, like how to do things. So I'm watching other people's shows and just trying to learn from them. So this person, and I'll make sure I put a link to their page because they, they have a lot of auctions. They was auctioning off really good brands and I'm watching and I'm thinking, what am I missing? First of all, sometimes things don't go for like a big high price on there and people don't seem to care, right? So they put this up, it's Bren Walker, okay? And it is 100% linen, so it's this long tunic top, lagging look, you guys, coastal grandma, all those things, hippie, okay? But it has these matching pants, you guys. And they are also, I mean, they're matching exactly, so it's linen and all that, elastic waist, but look at this fun, crazy capri, pants so i put this out on one of my groups that i i participate on facebook called uh poshmark thrifting and i said you guys look at this what i just bought on whatnot and someone sent me the stock photo of exactly this outfit for sale for 189 dollars so i'm not saying that's what i'll get for mine but that's really exciting i also from that same person got these extra fun shorts Oh my gosh, look at those bright collars, beautiful. And this brand is Tractor Blue, okay? And I haven't been telling you guys the size. That's a 29 inch waist. And this was an item that I went for a dollar. I was unsure how it would do. I figured one of my motorcycle mamas would really like this, okay? So it is uh, the brand Sledge, and I think they normally sell for like $10 or $15, so nothing special necessarily, but I a lot of times will sell vibes more than I do brands, so I'm okay with that, okay? And the next thing is another thing I got from them as well, and it's pink, Victoria's Secret pink in a size extra small, so it's these camo leggings, okay? And they're actually really, I mean, they're really good quality. Um, not like the real thin ones, you guys, more like compression. You see it has like the zipper pocket on back, so that's good. That's popular, okay? And the next thing we have, I got from them as well. So this is all off of Whatnot. And it's this Victoria's Secret Pink Sport crop top and a size medium. And you guys, all these things were $5 or under when I bought them from him, except for that one shirt I said that for my motorcycle mamas, that shirt actually was only $1. Okay. And this is something I got at the bins. I saw them and I thought, well, those look nice. And they was, they're Lafayette 148. And they are a size 14 trouser pant. So you see that pattern. And then they're also like wide leg, which is very in fashion right now. That's part of the reason why the grandma pants are in fashion. People aren't wanting things to necessarily hug their bodies right now. And of course there's gonna be people that's gonna always love skinny jeans and there's nothing wrong with that if you do. That's just what is trending right now and might not be trending six months from now, okay? This is actually from the bins and my husband picked it up for me. He saw it and he thought that it looked very bohemian and it does. It does need to be steamed, but it's this crinkle fabric, ruffle hem. It has the crochet lace there in the middle. And I did look up the brand for this because it's got an RN number, but I'm not even seeing that right now to jog my memory, but it's just like a little boutique brand and it's in a much I don't know, a bluer look than what it's showing on camera right now. Okay, so that's super cute. This I picked up at the bins as well. And it is Kathy Daniels and I got it for Dark Academia for vintage vibes, right? It's just a super cute sweater vest. It has the like patchwork style print on it. Kind of like the cross stitch almost, kind of how it looks like that bow, like it's, that's not real thread. That's actually just printed on there. Okay, and it's a button front and it is a size small. 
Hey, this is another Ben's pickup. I felt like this might go, <laughs> I'm like stretching for dark academia. It's paper tea, just a little boutique brand, nothing special, you guys. Definitely got it on style. So it has these faux leather pockets. Okay, it's semi sheer and it has cheetah, it's cheetah print, you guys. Only it's really cheetah heads with the little paws on it. So I thought that was super cute. And this is a size small. I think I said that. You guys know I had to tell you the sizes three times or not at all. Okay, and this was a Goodwill, um, my local Goodwill find. So one thing about Indiana Goodwills is we have a lot of vintage and vintage blazers sell. They don't always sell immediately. Sometimes they're the long tail, meaning it takes a little bit longer for somebody to see it, love it, and want it. But I thought this was gorgeous. So it is this blazer. You see that print all over it, kind of like a gold background with black all over it. But look, watch how long it is. It's so long, you guys. It's be absolutely beautiful. Okay, and this is a vintage brand. And I do believe it um, used to have a skirt with it because the uh, size tag said two piece. So I imagine it had either like some pants or a skirt to it, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And we're not sure what size that is. So I'll be taking measurements, but I guess probably a size medium. Okay. The next thing is also something I bought for my local Goodwill or Goodwill store. And it is this gray and mustard yellow wool skirt. Okay, A-line skirt. These things sell very well for me in the winter months. And not only that, but it's brand new with tags. Okay, and it's a size 12. So I just thought it was a nice color. And also dark academia is something that I focus on more in the like starting in the middle of August. So I'll have some stock ready for me. Same with this for these vibes, the dark academia, going back to school. You know, a little bit of fall collars and the brown plaid. And this was bought at the Goodwill Bins. And it is a size medium women's, you guys. So this is way too little for a man. So I would say that is definitely a size women's medium. This is something I found at the Bins and I'm still unsure if I found something great. Or if I'm spelling it wrong, I need to do, I need to do more research. But it's this Ariat, like the Ariat, and I'm probably not even saying that right. But it's a popover uh, sweatshirt, or no, I'm sorry, zip up sweatshirt with a hood and pockets. And it looks like it would be a Wibbins to me. And it's called the Milton Hoodie Cold Series. And I think, I think this might be something good, but we're not, I'm not positive. But it's a size medium and a navy blue. It's like a big logo on the back. This I got at the bins. And a lot of these things like this, I would probably never pick up in my local Goodwill. But when I see them on sale, I like see them in the bins, I'm like, oh, that's cute. And it will sell. It's got some embroidery on the sleeves. So it's this vintage semi sheer black with pink satin trim kimono style robe. Okay, so I see me through there. Hello, everybody. But it's just a really pretty Vic or Victorian vintage robe. Okay, you guys, these I found together. I've sold these pants I'm getting ready to show you already once before. This was at my local Goodwill. It is, is it Kalia? Okay, so the Kalia logo there. Okay, and it's just really nice. I want to zip it up so you guys can see how nice it is. It is a, kind of like a puffer jacket, I guess, in a way, but a lightweight one in this lavender collar. It's so nice. You can feel the quality. I can see why people get all hyped up about this brand. There are a few snags on it, though, you guys, and I'll make sure those are minimal, minimalized, but I will notate that there were snags in it. Okay, it's just got all kinds of nice, really nice details. And like I said, I was really surprised when I found this. It's like, oh, that's why everybody gets excited about finding that because it really is an excellent, excellent quality. And this is a size extra large women's. And then I found the pants that somebody probably had that matched them. They are two different sizes, but lots of us are different sizes. Okay, and it's got this floral print, the mesh down here. And again, they're the Kalia size medium. 
Hey, Capri leggings, super, super cute. All right, you guys. I'm gonna do a few more and then I'm gonna save the rest for another haul because there's so much. Okay, so I found this Ann Klein purse. It was at the bins. It was kind of heavy, so I probably paid $3 for it. We'll see how it does. I, Ann Klein is a hit or miss for me sometimes. But you know what? It normally always sells unless it's super dated. I'm unsure if the zebra stripe makes it modern or if it makes it dated. So we'll see. Okay, the inside is in excellent condition and it is a big, big bag. Look at this. I mean, that's definitely going to carry a lot of different things in it. Okay. All right, I'm going to pick one more thing, you guys. The thing back here on the ground. So, this is one of my local Goodwill finds, you guys. I tell you all the time, if these, they have to be special in some way, okay? I don't want to guide you wrong. First of all, always remember when you're watching my hauls, if you're a new person, that what sells for me may not sell for you. What sells for you may not sell for me. But I get these funky, they have to be funky in some way, faux fur vests. And I sell them. I've sold three on Depop. I've been on Depop for two months. I'm selling them for $30 to $35 each. I paid $5 for this, and it was 50% off actually after that. So really, I paid $2.50 for it. But it's just really fun. Festival wear and or in the winter. And it's Valerie Stevens, which is not a horrible brand to sell, you guys. I think that is from Kohl's, but that's one of the brands. Honestly, the tunic tops and stuff, I've seen three or four recently that my mom donated to me. So I'm kind of like awake about this brand now. I wouldn't go out and pay $5 a piece for it. I did for this because of what it was. But if I was at the bins and saw that, the little dress tops, I'm going to consider it. Okay, and this is a size large to extra large. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun with me. I hope you'll join me on my whatnot shows. Watch me. Who knows what's going to happen, you guys. So I'm not a scripted person. When you see me doing these hauls, whatever I'm thinking comes out. So that might be to your advantage. It might be to my disadvantage. But we're all going to get a good laugh and have a good time. So visit me on Whatnot, LA Thrift Junkie. Come and shop with me on Poshmark, eBay, Macari, and Depop. And if your seller is yourself, be sure to have come and just chat and see what whatnot is about i'll answer any questions that i can answer i'm a newbie so i just started but i'm excited to get to know everybody better all right you guys i'll see you in the next haul bye bye